Well, it's good, everybody. Hope you're doing well. I want to thank God for another day with a purpose. If you're here right now, that applies to you, too. And um, it's okay to give them thanks if you want to. I like to do so. Um, hurt people hurt people. We've all heard the term before. I used to not really know what it meant until um, I think one time I went to a therapy session. And it was mentioned in the therapy session, and then we kind of drilled down on it, and I'm like, ah, so the light bulb went off, and I understood it. If you're here now and you don't know what it means, what it insinuates is that if somebody is doing something hurtful to you, and I'm not going to go with deep stuff. I'm just talking about like hurting your feelings or being dismissive to your thoughts and feelings, um, you know, not hearing you out. If you have a gripe, a complaint, a concern, or something like that, or they're being snappy with you, um, just basic stuff. It insinuates that people are being that way with you because they're dealing with some of their own internal pain. So they're uh, deflecting it, I guess, in some kind of way, or um, there's enough projecting it onto you and to the, the environment around them. I'm trying to get rid of it in some kind of way or wanting you to feel pain with them. So uh falls into that misery loves company kind of thing. So I understood it better. And here's what I came to the realization of. Every human being has been hurt. The mass majority of us are hurting right now in some kind of way, whether we we recognize it or not at the time, or we want to acknowledge it at the time. Sometimes we push stuff aside and push it deep down into our soul because we don't want to deal with it right now, all right? However, anything can trigger it to manifest itself internally or externally. Considering that every human being has been hurt means also that all of us have hurt other people, whether indirectly or directly, intentional or unintentional. So that means if <laughs> hurt people hurt people is a real thing and it's accurate, then it's not really a, a, a thing. It's us. It's just the human condition. We all do it. We all get hurt. We all hurt people. So I started thinking about it. All right, if that's the case, then if I'm hurting right now, um, I have to find some ways to stop hurting. But in the process, I have to acknowledge it and know that it's there, find out what the triggers are, uh, and prepare myself for the triggers and try not to be triggered when they occur. I hope that makes sense. So what I'm saying is that preparation is everything. Stuff is going to happen to you. It's a lot of things that can trigger some internal pain. Some of the stuff you've pushed down into your soul, like I said, and you're trying to bury it and not deal with it. Uh, but there's so many things that can trigger you remembering it, feeling it. And if you're not careful and you're not prepared, it can make it manifest and you project that stuff out into the environment and it affects and hurts other people. And sometimes the pain you put out you cannot take it back. You can't reverse it. You can't get a do-over. It's going to stay for life as a pain point for the person that you did that to. So for those reasons, we should prepare ourselves. How do you do that? Find out what triggers you and prepare yourself to deal with the triggers in a way that you will feel okay leaving that situation having dealt with it that way for instance if you know that a person can say a certain word or phrase things in a certain way and it'll instantly make you angry practice and prepare yourself to deal with it in a way where that anger won't be manifested and nobody knows it unless it's necessary for you to tell them However, you may not need to tell them in a way 
that's violent, that can be viewed as an as an anger outburst, especially if you have a history of showing traits like that and it's affecting your reputation and even how you see yourself and how you feel afterwards. So at the end of the day, those of us who have good sense and have a conscience, have love within our hearts, we want to feel good at the end of the day. We want to be proud of our decisions. We want to um, have a good emotional situation going on inside. And we want others to remember us as a person who gave something positive into your soul, something positive into their lives, their life this, today. Remember, everything you do, good or bad, can affect somebody for the rest of their life. You can say one word that will encourage a person and they'll never, ever forget that you said that word. Vice versa, you can say one word that can completely destroy a person and they will never, ever forget that you said it and how it felt when you did. Hurt people hurt people. That's all of us. Again, we all been hurt. Most of us are hurting right now, or we're burying some pain and kind of suppress it, kind of suppressing it. But it can manifest at any time for any reason, especially if you get triggered. Prepare yourself for the triggers. Role play with yourself and put a strategy together so that you can respond in a way that you'll be happy with at the end of the day. All right, that's all I got, y'all. Peace. God bless.